Well, Mad Men star John Hamm is actually mad for Elmo. Mad for Elmo. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love Elmo. I'm mad for Elmo, too. Well, Hamm recently appeared on an episode of Sesame Street to talk about the word of the day, and that word was... Sculpture. Now, you know you've arrived in your career if you get to hang out with Elmo. Isn't that the dream? That's so awesome. I loved the word of the day when I was a kid. Oh, well, yeah. Elmo, hopefully you can come on our show one day. Yeah, okay. Elmo. <laughs> so, Elmo's sort of doing this, but pimping ain't easy. Oh, come on. No, no. I'm not going to let you use you that transition. Seen, no. Have you ever seen no, Elmo on his tricycle no, 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 rolling no, no, around? No, no, okay. no, no, no. All right. Well, as the song goes, pimping ain't easy, and it ain't illegal either. It's very <laughs> illegal. Just ask Prince Jackson, who recently found that out. <laughs> you are terrible. I'm sorry. TMZ was there when the son of the late king of pop, Michael Jackson, was pulled over by police. Now, the 16-year-old reportedly was heading to Fat Burger with his brother <laughs> Blanket and his cousin Royal. I don't make mm. these things up. Those uh, are their names. Right. <laughs> uh, when the cops spotted his customized lights on the grill of his new truck, mm. the young driver was given a warning and told to remove the tint from his fog lights. Yeah, you have to have a certain amount of light outage that people are able to see from your headlights, also on your windows. So stop trying to pimp down the street, Prince. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know <sighs> anything about car culture. Oh, so. okay. Well, we'll hit you up because yeah. you got another car culture story coming up. Okay. And let's just hope that the rapper of the game doesn't get any static from police about pimping out his rides. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, he recently took six of his whips to a custom design shop in Los Angeles and dropped, get this, $200,000 on upgrades. Goodness. Well, among the cars that got new paint jobs, new wheels, rims, and interior interiors are two Chevy Camaros, a Fisker Ooh. Karma, a Bentley GT, a Phantom Ghost, and a Porsche Panamera. Wow. Wow. Those this are, must be good for the game. Those are some nice cars. You see that? But you know what? I hope he's investing in other things besides cars because you know they depreciate right when you drive off the lot, exactly. right? Exactly. Just letting you know in case you didn't know. Now, are all those cars <laughs> nice cars? Oh, yeah. Very really? high end, very exclusive. Okay. Yeah, up to like, even the car alone are like 250000 and up. Really? Yeah. So, he's got some, oh got some cheese. That's a brownstone in Brooklyn. <laughs> anyway. Well, Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith's son, Jaden, is kicking his way into the fashion industry with a new clothing line he recently unveiled called Misfits. That's right. For a 14-year-old karate kid, uh -oh. the all-black and leather clothing line, it actually looks pretty cool. Well, apparently he's designing the line with some friends and is inspired by his love of skateboarding. Well, you know, it seems like all these child stars or kid entertainers, they're all coming out with their own little clothing line. I think it's kind of cool to get the entrepreneurial spirit working for them. Yeah, and he should bring Sister Willow on board, too, because she's got her own fashion sense. I'm sure. She'll probably also come out with, like, a hair extension line, because, you know, she's like, <laughs> rip my hair back and forth, whip my hair. You know, she's got it going on. Now she's got That's... the cut. She's, the people are actually looking at these young stars as fashion trends and styles to put on themselves, adults, I to know. put them on themselves. Oh my God, I cannot wait for Surrey Cruz to come out with her own fashion line. Oh, it's coming. that's the chicest little child on the planet. It's coming. It's coming. Yeah, they're all reporting. She has like a Chanel bag and a Louis Vuitton. <laughs> they're like, she has all these little bags to match her mother's bag so they can go out wearing the same purse. You are kidding. It's amazing. Well, when you got the money, why not? I know, but I want to hear more about your DJing back in the day. Oh, Lord, where's <laughs> King Capri, Capri, Capri? Where did he go? He left? Well, basically, I was a DJ at a skate rink in Cincinnati, Ohio. The Fun Factory. If you're watching, shout out to the Fun Factory. Yeah, I, I could not DJ today, and I didn't really do much. I didn't do that. Uh -huh. I, you know, put the records on. We didn't have the computers then. <laughs> put the records on, let them play. We did have CDs, so sometimes it'd be CDs, and sometimes it'd even be cassette tapes. Cassette tapes? Oh, yeah, you took me back. Took, yeah, it's taking You know, it I back. was thinking, I wanted to ask Kit Capri, what is that one song that always gets the crowd on the dance floor? Uh, and I just don't know. I mean, I have so many that I love. I don't know what you come to do. I don't know. What song Remember is that? that? Oh, I say that. anything Michael Jackson. <laughs> anything Michael Jackson. Yeah, anything Michael Jackson will definitely get the crowd hype. So Well, tell them to tweet fun. us and tell us yes. what you think. What song gets you hype? <laughs> Thank you for watching Arise Entertainment 360. We'll see you tomorrow.